We're recording. Well, folks, I'll tell you, we're out saying hello to all of our YouTube fans. We want to thank everybody for subscribing. We have actually hit over 160 subscribers, Dr. B. People actually want to see our mugs. They want to see JP and Dr. B online. Well, actually, I think they're really looking for Mustang <laughs> Callie because she definitely makes us look a lot better. I mean, even... Even poor action doesn't have any <laughs> luck either. I mean, boy, action! I'll tell you uh, what, we you. gotta, we gotta do something. It's a Friday. <laughs> it is a Friday, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what, folks. I'm excited. We have a great Friday planned for you. This is our open lines Friday. We will open the lines up starting in the second segment, which is roughly about six fifteen. You are wa or listening with, and watching on YouTube. You are listening to JP and Doctor B. Well, on point. We've got Mustang Callie back in the. In the radio station, Mustang, good morning. Good morning, how are y'all? I'm so yeah. excited about today's show. So how was Buffalo Wild Wings? Because that's what we lost you out to for a couple it, days. It, it, it's going. It's going great. I love it there. And um, I, I wish I, I could have been here the last two days, but, uh, you know. And, and how's college? Yeah. Remember, we've got a college intern here. How's college? College is great. I'm super excited. Last couple weeks, have them underway, so. You got all those papers done. Oh, oh and, yeah, uh, like like three. You got like three yeah. and ready to go. Go to work. Oh yeah, writing well, papers uh, while eating, you know, honey barbecuing. Well, you know, my understanding is is the only thing left is beer, as they say. <laughs> So we can't talk about that on the radio, though. Well, folks, we've got a great, great show planned for you. Mustang Cali has done some research, and we're going to talk disastrous dates, and then we're going to incorporate that into how does it impact the workplace. So if you're a manager or a CEO driving on your way to work and you're listening this morning, you might want to hear what some of your employees are doing without you knowing it and how it impacts your workplace and maybe your productivity, but also just the fun and entertaining value of Good night. We've all had a disastrous date. But before we get into that, we're also going to talk with Coach Scott Smith. Coach Smith is the head coach and athletic director of Plano West, and he has been a, a great pal of our show. He has come on each week and given us an update, and we've talked high school sports, and uh, we're just excited to have him. Coach Smith, good morning. Good. All right. Now, you know, this isn't 730 at night anymore, Coach. It's a little bit early, but I know you guys are up by four in the morning watching video and out running laps or something. Four is a little early. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, I'll tell you what. We have hit the last game of the season. You are at home at Clark Stadium, and in fact, I've got your game again tonight. In fact, I think I've been the almost the ultimate Plano West broadcaster this year. Well, I'll tell you, we love watching them, and I love broadcasting them. So, Coach, what? how are your players feeling, and, and they're going into their last game? How are your seniors feeling? You know, Coach, if you had three of the, of the biggest things that you guys need to take care of on Friday night, what would you say those three things are? You know, Coach, when I look back at all the games we've watched and broadcasted, I remember going back to Saxe, the very first game, and, you know, I'm going to tell you, you guys took control of that football game. Everything looked like it was going Plano West way, and, you know, you and I have talked about this week after week. It's just you guys show this 
brilliance, and then there's that inconsistency that steps in and it costs you the game. I mean, you are literally minutes away from being a playoff team. Well, and they really are. I mean, it doesn't hurt that we have the, the reigning state champion back-to-back. -back and, uh, I mean, you know, and we do have one of the, we have the, I think, I've said it on the air on PISD Broadcasting that we do have the hardest district in the state of Texas. There's no doubt. So, you know, Coach, going forward, I mean, you've got a lot of young players sitting on that roster. One of them, whom I've watched all year on the defensive uh, side of the ball, Bryce Jones. I mean, this kid can play. He's only a 10th grader. So what are you guys looking forward to in off season and getting ready for next year? Because I know that you guys have got to be excited. I, I'm going to tell you, I look at your ball club and I think if Plano West isn't second next year, I'm surprised. I'm surprised we're not making the playoffs next year. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach, we sure do appreciate you coming on with us uh, all throughout the season. You have been fantastic, and, you know, I love your attitude. I love your coach's attitude. It, it comes out in the boys when they're on the field. I enjoy watching Plano West play football, and we appreciate you being a partner with KEXB 620 AM as well. You bet. Now, Coach, I've got a controversial question to ask you because Mustang Cali, Mustang Cali has come up with this format for today, so I've got to ask it. So, Coach, disastrous date now. I mean, have you had a disastrous date? Now, so did you ever have anybody at work try to set you up on a disastrous day? Oh my goodness! And so that turned out all right then. All right. So that so then the workplace was a good place at that point. Then you didn't disrupt the workplace then. Well, Coach, you have a great night tonight. I will see you out at the game, and we will talk to you again next year. I'd love to have you on. You, you too, Coach. 
All right, folks, stay tuned. We're going to talk about disastrous dates and did it impact the workplace? Because, you know, humans are human, and when you have a bad night, maybe you've got a bad day the next day. Stay tuned. Call in at 214-787-1160. The phone lines are opening after this break. We'll see you, we'll, well, we'll see you and hear you right back. All right, so when we come back, let me go talk to Sharavius. So are you going to introduce the segment, or? I'm going to keep an ear in here. Yeah. All right, here we go. Disastrous dates. Call in, 214-787-1160. This is going to be funny. You should look at the camera. Because if people go on and watch, yeah. and they hear you say it, and they know you're a call-in show. So that's why you have to do that. So excited for this next segment. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Is your on-point family. Holy cow. <laughs> it's amazing. That's what it is. Amazing. And this. That's our coffee cup. This is not Bluebell ice cream. Coffee. This is what the station has in the form of coffee cups. If you feel bad for us, you might want to donate some coffee cups yeah, for Dr. B for his coffee. Absolutely. So feel free to send us some coffee cups. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't know if that's really coffee. Well, let it, me it, see. It, it that looks like, a, like that coffee. looks serious. That it, doesn't look like coffee. It's like oil. It does not taste like coffee. I'll tell you that much. But it's close. <laughs> Dr. B, I don't know if that's coffee. Mm. I had to put a yeah. lot of You must bear, barely be able to yeah. stomach it. You know, I began drinking coffee w when I was working at a factory during college, and you drank it out of a machine. You know, you right. put your quarter in, you never knew what came out. You know what, though? Those machines, I thought, made pretty good coffee normally. Well, you must have better machine than we I have. May, I, may have. <laughs> I worked for General Foods. They were cheap. What can I say? <laughs> uh, All right, let's see if anybody's listening. If you're out there listening, send us a message on Facebook and let us know, and we'll say howdy. And don't forget to call 214-787-1160, correct? Yes. Correct. Hey, by the way, 134 people have liked my plate of food picture. Yeah, I saw that this morning. I didn't like it yet, but I saw it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I feel like people are more likely to like a photo of food than a selfie. Is people, that right? I think so. People love food. When Mustang Cali starts to fade out, that's when you come on. What? When Mustang Cali starts to fade out, that's when you come on and you start talking about disastrous dates. Okay, are you going to introduce the segment or am I? I am. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, Dr. B, the banjo in the morning. That's a good way to get yourself up out of bed, get your coffee started, get in the car and down the road. So you can listen to On Point with JP and Dr. B. It is Friday and a good time to listen and a good time to go. Absolutely. I'd like to say just do a quick couple shout-outs. Devonna Ravenhold is listening. Sam Hazen 
is listening. Virginia Whiteside is listening.